Hey everybody, how is it going? Welcome to LinuxHint.com YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to show you that how you can install Postgres um, on your Ubuntu 20.04. So the idea is that PostgreSQL uh, is a relational database management system that provides an implementation of the SQL queuing language. It is a popular choice for many small and large projects and it has the advantage of being standards compliant and having many advanced features like reliable transactions and concurrency without read blocks. All right. So what we're going to do is that we're going to use the terminal to install uh, this thing, the PostgreSQL. So you press Control alt t and right after pressing Control alt t what you're going to do is that you're going to update your repository, okay? So um, whenever, make sure you open up your system after a long time and if you are going to install something after a long time or even every day, make sure that you uh, update your repository, okay? So once the update is done, now what you're going to do is that you're going to install the PostgreSQL software uh, using this command. So you would just write here sudo apt and then you would write here install and then you'd write here PostgreSQL and after that you're going to write here uh, PostgreSQL. So the idea is that Till here, it's done. If you hit enter, PostgreSQL will be installed. So what we want to do is that we want to install some additional packages as well. So we just write here PostgreSQL hyphen contrib. So this is a package that you know offers some additional utilities and functionalities. So we have added that as well. So now if we hit enter, it is going to install this PostgreSQL. You can see that it's 121 megabytes in size. So I'm going to press Y because yes, I want to install this on my system and now it would start to download it. Once it downloads it, it would start to install it. All right. So we'll wait. The installation procedure created a user account called Postgres that is associated with the default Postgres role. In order to use Postgres, you can log into that account. So there are two ways in which you can access the PostgreSQL uh, and I'm going to show you both. So basically there are two ways in which you can access the PostgreSQL and I'm going to show you both. So let me just clear it. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to write here sudo hyphen i hyphen u and then I'm going to write here Postgres. Okay. So once I do that, I hit enter and you can see that now um, I am using the Postgres user. Okay, so I'm logged in as a Postgres user. And now if I want to access the uh, Postgres, uh, you can say command line specifically or the interface, then what I can do is that I can write here um, PSQL. And if I hit enter, you can see that here I come. And in order to quit, all I can do is that I can write here slash Q. Oh, excuse me. I can write here forward slash Q and it would basically quit it. All right. Another way to do the same thing is that I write here sudo and then I write here hyphen U and then I write here postgres and then I write here PSQL. Okay. So it would now take me directly uh, to that interface okay right here so in order to quit i can write here slash q and it would take me out of there all right so let me just clear it another thing that we can do is that we can create a user so in postgres uh, the current user is my let me show you again so if i go here and if i write here um slash and then if i write here con info you can see that it says you are connected to database postgres as user postgres via socket uh you know in slash variable slash run slash postgresql at port 5432 
So the database is Postgres and the user is Postgres as well. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a new user and a new database and then I'm going to connect that new user and the new database um, here as well. Okay. So let's see how do we do that. So first of all, let me just quit it. I come out of here. Let me just clear it. And now I would create a user. So for that, I would just write here sudo hyphen u. And then I would write here postgres. And then I would write here create user. And then I would write here hyphen hyphen interactive. All right. So after that, you hit enter. It is going to ask you enter the name of role to add. So we're going to add Linux Int. All right. So we hit enter, it is going to say, shall the new role to be a super user, all right? So we press Y and you can see that we have added it. So after creating the user, uh, we're gonna create a new database as well. So let's create it, we write here sudo hyphen u and then we write here postgres and then we write here create db and uh, we create a database with the Linux int name as well. So we hit enter and you can see that it has not given us any errors which mean that the database have been created successfully. And as I have shown you previously that if you go to the Postgres SQL database interface with the Postgres user, uh, you would see, you had seen that statement that I'm talking about the Postgres, uh, the database Postgres is connected to the user Postgres at the port 45432 okay a statement something like that so right now uh, instead of actually signing in as the postgres user we are going to sign in as a linux Int user so instead of this command let me show you all right so previously what we have done is that we had here uh, sudo hyphen u postgres and posql okay so you know what it would do so instead of postgres what we're gonna do is that we're gonna write here our username which is essentially linux hint all right so we hit enter and you can see that now we have got into the postgres all right so here uh, if i just write here forward slash and if i write here con info you hit enter and you can see here it says you're connected to the database Linux Int as user Linux Int via socket in slash var slash run slash postgresql at port 5432. All right. So I hope you have understood this thing. You know what I'm talking about. So that's how you basically create a new user. You create a new database in postgresql. So if you have any questions, you can ask us in the comments below. So that's how you install PostgreSQL on your Ubuntu 20.04. Thank you so much for watching. And for written articles, always you can visit our website, linuxin.com.